Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick little follow-up video to my original Odroid XU4Q recording experiment. If you haven't seen that video, I suggest watching that first. Anyway, I've since tried recording a band with a Behringer X32. It was a big band, big packed venue, so, you know, when I was recording six tracks on my thumb drive, it was totally fine. Uh, recording 26 tracks at a time, I've never dealt with anything that heavy on this system, so it wound up overheating and crashing on me several times, and I really didn't get anything usable out of it. Now, luckily, I'm in the habit of having a backup recording system at every show I do, so it was no big loss. Now. I have since added a fan to my XU4, so overheating is no longer a problem like it was with the X32. And I've monitored the system resources and all that, and it seems like recording 16 tracks at a time is not a problem. I don't doubt that it could easily do 32. Also, you notice that I have an SSD stuck in the top here. Obviously, a uh, thumb drive is not going to handle 16, 32, or however many tracks at a time. So now, I booted up the computer here. I'm going to go to sound and just make sure that X18 is highlighted. Looks like we're good there. I recorded a band on the 3rd of March using this exact system. I didn't get any video of it because I was busy working, but I can at least demonstrate that it worked. So Start also. Good. I'm going to get a little error message here saying that my screen is too small. But that's fine because I'm not going to need it. All right, so I recorded for two hours here. Let's see. So I'm using this as an interface and unlike with the M audio interface, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with not being able to use all the IOs. So, and this is actually being controlled. This is actually being controlled by my phone. So this is doing none of the mixing, it's all being done through the mixer. I really haven't had any problems with this and I, I'm planning on using this system for recording from this point forward uh, unless it's something where I really do require higher quality converters or a lot more tracks. In that case I'm going to be using my HD24 anyway and my analog console. For most of the stuff that I do I think this is going to work out quite fine for me. Actually, I have to record an orchestra tomorrow, so I'm kind of tempted on recording them with this system. But normally I wouldn't use more than three or four mics for an orchestra, but this is kind of a weird situation. I have to close mic everything for noise and feedback issues, but I won't get into that here. Anyway, um, I'm really excited about the capabilities of this system, and uh, I hope to do some more experiments with it soon. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.